Well, I discovered that my front wheel was an inch and five eighths too far that direction, out of straight. So I cut the head loose, except for just a little tiny bit up at the top. I left I left it connected, so I didn't lose my angle. Cut it loose with a grinder and a, a, a sawzall, and then once I got it loose, bump move the front end over this way a little bit. And lined it up. Now we lined it up with this handy dandy little laser shooter from Harbor Freight, which is set up on this stand. And let me turn this on. It might not be set right now because I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a laser line running right down this line, right through that, right through the center of the shift rod, the uh, and right up the middle of the scooter and right on down and you can see it at the other end it's actually right smack in the middle of the tire maybe we can see that I don't know I don't know if you can see that laser line there is right there right in the center of the tire of course we leveled the tire made sure that it's made sure that it's vertically straight or uh, vertically level straight up and down and now the front end is sitting properly. Now the handlebars are going to come off for refitting because they don't fit my brother. Um, and that's how I straighten the front end. This ain't the first time I've had to do this to scooters that, for whatever reason, or various reasons, the head got in improperly placed or, you know, got bent over, whatever. So I cut them loose, move them, weld them back up again. Now when I weld it up, I'm going to turn, put this thing on high frequency and fry it in there just crank it up and uh, so we really really get some super heavy duty penetration there now this laser gizmo will also be very handy um, for when I build a new scooter set this machine up set the gizmo up the laser up and then I will be able to set the angle of the head um, I'll be able to get it exactly straight the first time no problem because before it's always been a matter of measuring and plumb lines and all kinds of crazy shit ways of doing it. And now I have a better way to do it.